I got a grade 9 in GCSE physics and this is exactly how you are going to revise if you want to get that grade as well. And look, you may not need this video right now, but trust me, you're going to want to save it because you will need it in the future. If you take one thing from this video, I want it to be this. Physics blends into maths a lot. As in, to do well in physics, you need to have strong maths skill. The majority of the topics rely on your maths skill. It varies by exam board, but on average, about 30% of the marks will come from maths based questions. And you will need to apply this maths to physics. And it's more critical than ever to not just understand how you plug numbers into an equation, it's when do you use them. You need to conceptually understand what you are doing. Oftentimes they will give you an equation in a question and you think, hmm, these numbers don't plug in here, you need to rearrange it. You need to use an additional supplementary equation in order to find the answer. Therefore, if you don't conceptually understand what you're doing, you're not going to be able to do that. One of my biggest tips for GCSE physics is use mnemonics. There is so much to remember, but there are so many mnemonics that you can use. For example, for the UV spectrum or for the different types of weight, like every GCSE science, there is a lot of content and unfortunately there are just some things that you need to remember. You need to remember definitions. You need to remember units. The best way to do this is by having a question on one side of a flashcard and an answer on the other side. And I recommend make this very, very specific. So don't just have an entire condensed topic on one side of your flashcard. Have a very specific question. And you don't need to make your own, particularly for those topics that you find easy. Though for those topics you find more difficult, I would recommend creating your own flashcards. So for stopping distance, I wouldn't create my own. However, for nuclear fission, I probably would. You need to do every practice paper. Oh my goodness. Physics is so much about applying your knowledge and understanding how you pick up the marks in the exam. Do every single practice paper. When you finish a topic, make sure you go home and you do some applied practice. As in, go and find practice paper questions on that specific topic. You can find them online. They're not hard to find. There are pre-made question packs on so many different websites so that you can apply your knowledge to a new setting and ensure you will get those marks in the exam. If you like this video and you found it helpful, be sure to follow if you want to see more daily GCSE tips.